And here on 4, Network 7 asks what's gone wrong with the country to cause the north-south divide. Well, this is only the second time in Network 7 I've been seen in daylight because Brookside has just celebrated its 500th show and so I've left the nightclubs of London to come up to Liverpool and take a look behind the scenes at Brookside. It's very different from a normal housing estate and the difference starts here because it has 24 hour a day security. It has the lowest crime rate of any place in Liverpool and it's one of the few places that you can actually get insurance for your house. Personally, I've never seen a single episode of this. Hey, what's going on? Is she drunk? No. She's rotten. Keep the noise down. Get in here. I'm not Will you get off me? Oh, God! Get off! You wake me, Nana! I don't care who you wake me! She's opened the door before I got there. <laughs> she must be expecting me. <laughs> <laughs> right. I asked Justine whether her own character was similar to that of Tracy's. No, not really. Very different. Yeah. She's... She's a bit of a narc, really, <sighs> Tracy. <laughs> Do you like her? No, not really. I feel sorry for her, but I don't like her. What was it like actually sort of having to spend so much time in here? Because actually it looks, it's very small, isn't it? Is it kind of claustrophobic? It's not too bad in the winter, but in the summer it gets hot. Well, if it gets hot, then um, it's, it's awful. As uh, Justine was saying, in the summer, we have these big lights, you know, all around the house and that, so yeah. to light the place and it gets really hot and claustrophobic. Like. Yeah, because I mean, it's, it's very claustrophobic now, isn't yeah. it? Oh. So this is your bedroom? Yeah. Tiny. <laughs> How do you sleep on this bed? I think that's uh, for a midget. You're not oh, kidding. Well, you see, what that's for is when the camera's here, they have to use, like, you know, because if, if the camera's there... Oh, can we do that bit again? Yeah. <laughs> Before I was a policeman, it was just like a normal bit of a scallywag, just doing me all levels, like. And uh, now I have become a policeman, the reactions have changed a bit, like. Like, it was funny the other day, I just came out the house and I was looking for a taxi and I was looking around and this uh, Cortina screeched up. I thought, oh, hi, hi, what's going on here? And these lads wheeled the window down. I said, hey, mate. I said, what? He said, I've got no tax, no MOT, no nothing. And he screeched up about 200 <laughs> mile an hour. Well, I thought that Network 7 was bad for cramped working conditions, but after having had a look around the Brookside estate and talked to Jason and Justine, I think, give me the pink.